So the forest spirits um, have been talking to me and they wanted me to uh, pass on uh, a little bit of truth here. So why is the inverse of a transpose, right? So this is some square matrix. Transpose always exists. Let's say it has an inverse. Why that is equal to the transpose of the inverse. All right, let's do that. Uh, so start off with the basic story of the inverse. It's the very special matrix that uh, pre-multiplies or post-multiplies A. Right, these are n by n's. Do it here or here, and you get the identity, which is our most excellent one when it comes to uh, multiplication of matrices. All right, so that's the basic. That is the definition of the of um, what it is to be an inverse. So we can we have this nice uh, transpose rule. BC transpose is equal to C transpose B transpose. So let's do that and see what happens. We're going to take the transpose of all of these characters here. Right? This has to be equal uh, to this. Take the transpose, transpose, identity transpose. Transpose of any diagonal matrix is itself. So that's good. Same thing. So we're starting to construct a, another equation like this. We're going to use this uh, rule here. So the A goes to the front, and we put a transpose here. We have A to the minus 1 here, transpose. This one equals, swap the order, A to the minus 1 transpose, and um, A transpose. So all of this is equal to the identity. So it looks just like this pattern here. We have something pre-multiplying A, Post multiplying gives us identity. Here we have, uh, it's, it's been swapped around, but there's a blob here, blob, that multiplies A transpose, pre multiplies, and that same blob uh, post multiplies A transpose to give the identity. So this blob has to be the inverse of A transpose, right? It is the thing that undoes A transpose, and it's what we were looking for because we knew where we were going, because some monks died. Okay.